So this recipe that has the urea and the salicylic acid for your cracked hills is nothing new. In fact, there's lots of products that are out there with it. But I wanted to show you how to make your own because it allows you to adjust different percentages, allows you to fix it to your foot. It individualizes it for you. Um, when it comes to cracked skin, and particularly really heavily keratinized cracked skin, the worst thing you can do is lock that skin into place. So a lot of people want to put like a real thick ointment on those, but the problem is, is that that keratinized skin stays where it's at. What we really need to do is remove the outside layers of that skin that's already dead and allow the skin underneath to come in healthy. So the way we're going to do that is a couple of things. First of all, we're going to take some salicylic acid. Now I've pre-measured this out. It's three grams of salicylic acid. You can get this any place. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Walmart.com. Every place has salicylic acid. So you want to get three grams of that. You want to add that in first and then we're going to take and we're going to levigate it with three milliliters of mineral oil. You want mineral oil because it'll lock that salicylic acid in better. We're gonna go ahead and stir that up and get it nice into a nice paste. Now I've got a machine that does this inside the pharmacy, but I think this will present better this way. So if you notice now, it's got this nice paste to it and all of the powder is turned into that paste. After we do that, we need to add just a little bit of a heavier ointment, just a little bit. This will make it so the base of the urea doesn't act with the, set, with the acid of the salicylic acid. So you need just a little bit of this or else it will turn into a gooey mess. So I put in about two teaspoons worth in there. It doesn't really matter on the amount, you just want it to be just enough to where it puts it into an ointment base. Now that'll lock the salicylic acid inside of that. So when we add the oil and water emulsion of the urea, it won't ruin each other with the acid-base reaction. So the last thing we're gonna add is, is the uh, urea. Now in this case, we've got 85 grams. The way we've done it, it ends up making exactly 100 grams of everything. So with the 85 grams of urea, 20%, Now when we mix it up, instead of having an acid-base reaction, it holds its form in a cream. If yours doesn't do this, it's because you haven't held the acid away from the base. Now there's a lot of products that are really similar to this. I like this one in particular because it allows for me to put three grams or four grams of salicylic acid, or two depending on who it's for. And also I can go with 20% or 40% urea. Also the cost of all this should be really inexpensive and you can make it at home anytime you want. Put it on at least a couple times a day. Put it on with the tissue that's really thick and stay away from stuff that's thin. If you've got diabetic feet, you gotta make sure you subscribe and ask me some questions so we can go through it. I don't wanna hurt anybody's feet that way, so make sure you talk to me about it. Um, and if you like this video, absolutely subscribe to it so we can continue to do this and give you options at home.